Now, bleomycin toxicity affects which type of cell? So, people means guys, you get confused with this type 1, type 2 pneumocytes. So, what you need to remember with bleomycin is that the answer here is it causes destruction of type 1. So, the key point you can remember it as the type 1 comes first. So, it will be destroyed first, type 1. Type 1 get destroyed and thereby causing hyperplasia of type 2. मतलब होता क्या है टाइप 1 जो डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाता है उसके कारण उसको कंपेंसेट करने के लिए टाइप 2 न्यूमोसाइट्स जो होते हैं वो हाइपरप्लेशिया हो जाता है उनका मतलब वो बढ़ जाते हैं बट टाइप 1 का डिस्ट्रक्शन होता है बाय ब्लियोमाइसिन टॉक्सिसिटी नाउ फॉर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा हम ऑल आर यूज्ड एक्सेप्ट so it's uh, means alag type ka question hai important bhi lag raha hai so high dose of options are high dose of methotrexate cyclophosphamide vincristine bleomycin etoposide and doxorubicin so the answer here is vincristine see basically the treatment of osteosarcoma is mainly primarily surgical but some drugs like etoposide cyclophosphamide cisplatin doxorubicin have been used in osteosarcoma but when 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 Christine is not used so the answer here here will be when Christine and also if you see high dose of methotrexate it is uh, the drug of choice and the FDA approved only FDA approved drug for osteosarcoma so you need to remember this point it's a high yielding point you can say and cyclophosphamide if you see so it is the most commonly used alkylating agent and drug of choice for means it has been uh, too long that it is a drug of choice for vaginal granulomatosis and used for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and most common side effect if you see of access of cyclophosphamide is hemorrhagic necrosis of bladder and why the hemorrhagic necrosis of bladder occurs it is due to one of its product or you can say by a byproduct that is acrolein acrolein ke karan jota hai hemorrhagic cystitis of bladder hota hai urinary bladder hemorrhagic cystitis of urinary bladder and uh, the vincristine is uh, is here is the answer is used mainly in the blood cancer and uh, all and the main major side effects is peripheral neuropathy vincristine here is the answer hand foot syndrome very common very frequently asked question is uh, can be caused by options are 5 fluorouracil vincristine capacitabine mitocin mitomycin c so if you see if this is a pgi based question you can make it wrong as only marking capacitabine because most people know this capacitabine but does not know that the capacitabine is the oral analog of 5 fluorouracil so here both a and c are correct answer 5 fluorouracil and capacitabine topical metamycin c is used in so if you see the options sturge weber syndrome urinary bladder ca endoscopic angiofibroma skull base osteomyelitis answer is urinary bladder ca so what is metamycin C? It is basically anti-tumor, antibiotic with alkylating agent like property used for mainly superficial CA carcinoma of bladder and hemolytic urinomic syndrome is a major complication of metamycin C on its treatment. This drug basically has a radiomimetic effect and sensitizes the hypoxic tumor cells to the effect of hypoxia. So Metamycin C you must have heard it in ENT as anti means when Japsinekia ho jata you can you give metamycin C but is also it is also used in urinary bladder CA as an anti tumor antibiotic with alkylating property in superficial bladder CA and if you if you if any question asks that the drug of choice for superficial bladder CA then it will be BCG given intravesically. Moving to next, which of the following statement is false regarding vincristine? So let's see the option. It is in alkaloid. It is used in uh, it's used associated with neurotoxicity. It does not cause alopecia. It is useful for induction of remission in acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So all the seems all the options seems to be correct except one. What? It does not cause alopecia while it does cause alopecia the prominent side effects of vincristine is peripheral neuropathy and the alopecia and all the rest are the correct about uh, vincristine one thing more you can remember is that vincristine have mainly cns side effect 
and vinblastine have blood side effect so what you can see what you can remember is vincristine vincristine have c in it so it it has cna side effects while vinblastine has b in it so it causes blood side effect iska jo side effects hota hai blood se related hota hai vinblastine while vincristine has cna side effect allopurinol should be avoided or reduced doses should be given if used with which of the following chemotherapeutic agents so here you need to apply some of your mind and the answer here will be mercaptopurin if you see why so uh, what you need to remember is that the mercaptopurin is purine anti metabolites that are metabolized or inactivated by xanthine oxidase and so if you give mercaptopurin with allopurinol so it will increase the host cell toxicity to mercaptopurin so you cannot give mercaptopurin and allopurinol simultaneously as mercaptopurin is inactivated by xanthine oxidase and if you give it with allopurinol it will cause toxicity of mercaptopurin amifostine is protective to all except very good question options are salivary gland in skin cns git so if you see the one confusing options here are skin and cns as it does protect against salivary gland git as in git it prevents oesophagitis in salivary gland it reduces xerostomia and it is basically a cytoprotective drug so here answer will be cns as it uh, you can consider skin as it reduces xerostomia in salivary gland so does it it also protects the skin while it does not protect the cns next ifosfamide is a very good question it means common question sorry it is a alkylating agent which of the following causes persistent leukemia options cisplatin vinblastine doxocarbazine carmustin persistent leukemia hmm quite uh, Uh, means uh, good uh, different type of term persistent leukemia so it typically caused by it is caused by carmustin and you must know some point about carmustin that it causes persistent uh, leukopenia with delayed nadir and it is mainly used for treatment of brain cancer like glioma blastoma glio uh, uh, glioblastoma multiform is medulloblastoma astrocytoma multiple myeloma and different lymphomas so it is a very important drug and you must know that this is a very important question and frequently asked that persistent leukopenia caused by carmustin timojolamide see it can confuse you timojolamide is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor alkylating agent anti metabolite tyrosine kinase inhibitor so any guesses no answer is alkylating agent so timojolamide is a alkylating agent which can be given both orally as well as iv and basically used for bladder ca and also for uh, sorry sorry brain ca very sorry it's commonly used for brain ca like glioblastoma multiformis anaplastic astrocytoma and etc and added additive side effects are common like nausea side effects are the nausea vomiting and you must remember the drug timojolamide many people can confuse it as carbonic anhydrase inhibitor but it is a alkylating agent sids crr is caused by all of the following drugs except so you it's a very common topic in pharmacology very commonly asked the drug causing crr and here i will not name all the drugs i will only tell you the answer you need to go through that chart having the drugs causing c other so we going through the option vincristine vinblastine actinomycin d cyclophosphamide c all of them cause c other except actinomycin d which anti tumor drug is not an alkylating agent so again many questions from alkylating agent you see option cyclophosphamide five fluorouracil busulfan melphalan so answer here is melphalan melphalan is not an anti it means alkylating agent so moving to next alkaline alkalinized alkalinization of urine ameliorates the toxicity of which of the following drug common question means it's from the general pharmacology 
answer here will be methotrexate without reading any other options because it is weakly acid and alkaline alkalinization of urine speeds of clearance of weakly acid drugs so the answer here will be methotrexate and if you see other drugs which can be removed are weakly acid by alkaline alkalinization is aspirin phenobarbital and the etc so i will continue with other topics till then stay focused study hard stay motivated and take care thank you